When we last left our detectives, they had just uncovered the first clue in the mystery of the man who defeated death. People had sinned against God, and death had entered the world, but God had promised that he would send someone to deal with death. Meanwhile, Penelope and Rex had begun tracking down the missing monkeys from the city zoo. Is there a sinister monkey-based mystery involved? I don't know. I haven't seen this episode yet either. That's the third banana we've seen so far. We must be getting close. What do you think happened to the missing monkeys? Well, how about we go through the usual suspects? Okay then, who have we got? Hmm, aliens? Aliens? Aliens are notoriously allergic to monkey hair. Oh, so it can't be aliens then. Ghosts? Yeah, but ghosts can't touch anything. Their hands just pass right on through. So, not ghosts. Thieves? Now you're not even trying. Sorry. I suppose my mind's on other things. Are you still thinking about the mystery of the man who defeated death? Indeed. I've been looking through this book, searching for more clues. What's that book called, anyway? The Bible. It's a fascinating book. And I think I've found not one, but two more clues to help us. Two clues? Let's hear them. Help keep our minds working as we follow this trail of bananas. The Bible talks about two other people who have made promises to you. Promises that might point to the man who defeated death. Who are they? The first is a man named Abraham. Lived a long time ago. Old guy, no kids. God made him not one, not two, but three promises. Three promises? He must have been pretty special. Nope. It says he was just an ordinary guy. But God chose him anyway. What were the promises? Mm, let's see. God promised him a land to live in and a large family. Okay, so that's two. What was the third? God promised Abraham that he would always be looked after. Wow, that's impressive. But I'm not sure how that helps us solve the mystery. Well, the family God promised Abraham turned out to be quite large. So big they became a whole country full of people. They became known as the nation of Israel. One of Abraham's family was a man named David. He was king over the entire country. A king? Now it's starting to get interesting. Was he the man who defeated death? Um, no. Wasn't him. But I think you're onto something with the king bit. It seems that David was a really good king. A splendid king. So splendid, in fact, that God made him a promise. Hmm, does this promise involve... food? Because I've only had bananas to eat all day. I'd love a hamburger right now. Focus! We have a mystery to solve here. No, God promised David that one of his descendants, one of the future kings of Israel, would rule forever. God said, I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Could that be him? Could that be the man who defeated death? You know, he just might be. Hey Rex, do you see what I see? Do you see a monkey holding a banana? Yes, I do! After him! Let's see which mystery we can solve first. Ignorant fools. Little do they realize that it is I, Ambrosio Deer, the world's greatest evil mastermind, who has orchestrated this fiendish scheme. They have taken the bait, and soon they will tumble into my deviously terrible trap. Soon, these dim-witted detectives will be finished, and my reign of greatness over the city will begin. Oh no! Our heroes Rex and Penelope are heading into Ambrosio's trap. Will they work it out before it's too late? Will they be able to rescue the absent monkeys? And will they find the king that defeats death? Make sure you join us for the next instalment of The Adventures of the Mystery Hunters.